this week in rec. I'm here with uh, Aaron Reed, Ramsett, Reed Nelson, Izzy Alcafas. Uh, we're gonna get it started here with um, the final four games. So I guess this is the Elite Eight edition, transitioning into the final four. Um, what do you got on the docket? So our first first game, we probably had the upset of the night. Um, Gorillas lost the Tropics, 69-61. Uh, Any initial thoughts on that game? Uh, <clears throat> it was kind of. Um, I think I fired up the Tropics a little bit with my, my predictions yesterday. Uh, Tyler came to play a little bit. The, the the irony of it all is the Gorillas made a run, and Tyler hit a three because we gave it to him. We just backed off him. He hit a three, and it just knocked it back. The, the momentum completely shifted the other way. Um, and it was because of him. I, that play decided the game. Once he made that shot, it was basically over. Um, we gave him space. And he took advantage. Uh, he made a few layups, and it just kind of set the tone for us. We were kind of struggling to get back into the game the whole time because we started out 10-0 in the hole. Took I think our first six shots were threes, and I believe we were about two of them. Not going to win games that way. And I know we live and die by the three, but we should go to the money maker, which is Tuan, and we we're calling for it. We just. I mean, our guards got to get the ball into into Tuan. Uh, good win for the Tropics. They hadn't had a win since their franchise uh, inception, and now they got two wins in a row, and they actually beat you know one of the favorites for the Gold Cup, which is good for them. Hopefully, hopefully they can do a nice little pitch to Dustin to see if they can get him to play with uh, with them. I think whoever Dustin decides to play with will win that game. One thing that stuck out to me, um, you guys had 25 fouls to their, like, 12, I think, mm -hmm. and uh, they shot 32 free throws. I think that was the difference in the game. Do you think it was you guys playing aggressive defense or them taking it to the hole? Uh, I think it was the refs. Rick Hill was, was covering one end. John Faison was covering the other. John Faison was covering their side. They were in the double bonus 10 minutes into the game. Double bonus. That's 10, we're a foul a minute. And, and the Gorillas... Are pansies like we don't play like grinded out basketball so we're we don't go around, this isn't the rebels this isn't you know even the tropics this isn't fob five we're in your face we give a lot of space and I mean for them to call that many fouls it was kind of obnoxious to start but I mean they would have won regardless of the foul count all right second game of the night um, turtles 53 nets 41 any surprises there uh, no, the Nets played what, how I expect them to play. Uh, sluggish, um, taking a lot of bad shots, a lot of bad contested mid-range shots. No, no cohesion. They've played all season as if they've never played together before, which is crazy to me. Um, I thought there would be a, a lot more chemistry than there. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't know what's missing. I think that just I think enough players on that team have lost the passion to really give it all, give it their all, and I don't know why because they haven't won anything in two years, so it's not like this is boring for them. They haven't won championships since this league actually has become more competitive. Uh, hopefully, Jay Moore can figure it out. I don't know what they're going to do. They can't get rid of anybody. All those guys are the core. You think it hurt uh, having Marshall not play the whole season or? Um, I think Marshall, Marshall's lost a step. He's probably he looks like he's gained about 25, 30 pounds. Uh, if he gets back into shape and kind of slims down, maybe loses 20 pounds, he he's a he's an animal, um, and he can set the tone for him. If he gets into shape, him and Ryan are a great backcourt, uh, and it, they they needed him in the playoffs and the end of the season, and he, I think he just fell short uh, tonight. It's Ryan Jansen. Even when Marcus is really good, Jansen really gave him a tough time. I wouldn't say shut him down. Marcus still got his, but he had to work for it. Uh, third game, we had the Red Devils and uh, Fob Five. Uh, Fob Five wins by 18. I personally expected that game to be a, a little bit closer. Um, you guys pay, played swarming defense and, and pulled out the win. Yeah, That's on that game. As did I. I thought I thought they would. I thought the game would be a lot closer as well. And you would be a grinded out defensive game. I think with five minutes left, it was, I think Red Devils only had 27 points. We really stepped it up on defense. And once again, Paul Ferber is, I used to say that Jansen was the reason why the Rebels won all those championships. 
Paul Ferber is a huge part of that because we would we would have lost in the Sweet 16 without Paul Ferber. Um, he's he's really good. I mean, I, I'm not going to go hang out with him after basketball. We're not best friends, but I call it how I see it. And even though he's my teammate, I'm, I'm very good teammate to him. We have our personality differences that we've had in the past, but he's a hell of a basketball player. Work rate second to none. I mean, he busts his ass from the moment the ball tips to the end of the game. And having guys like that, it, it's priceless. Okay, then the last game, the Avengers uh, beat the Broncos. I think it was by somewhere around 20. Yeah. Um, but they were up by like they won by 15 30. at half or something. And uh, Broncos had cut it to, to like nine, yeah. I think, in the second half. And, and then they just pulled away. Um, so final four games. Uh, next Wednesday, we have uh, Ninja Turtles versus uh, the Avengers. Who are you picking to win? Well, um, man, this is this is tough. I think the Turtles, I think the Avengers at this point, I think they want it really badly. Uh, they haven't won a championship. Um, Derek's still missing a championship. Chris is still missing a championship. I mean, all those guys, well, Woodbury championship, Derek's got one of those. But, um, you know, those guys have been playing the league for over maybe four years. And they have never gotten a championship. I think they've only made the finals once or twice. It's a big game for them because if they don't win, they got to wait another three months. I don't think they want to do that. The Gorillas are out. Um, I think they were banking on the Gorillas and the Avengers to maybe give themselves a shot of winning, maybe even seeing them both. But now they're down to one team. So I think Derek and Chris are going to turn up. I think we're going to see something that we don't see from Chris very often, which is kind of playing angry, uh, playing like he wants it. I think he turns it around. Derek will do the same. If they can stop Tuan, which they did a pretty good job of doing last time, they have a chance to win that game. If I'm betting, I'm betting the Turtles, my heart with the Avengers, my, I mean the head, it's got to go Turtles. Um, I, I'd, take the, I'd take the minus one, 150 there. Yeah, I think if the Avengers play like they did tonight, they played they played aggressive. Um, like you said, Chris was Chris was shooting threes and he was he was hitting them. Um, I think if they play like they did tonight, they can they can beat them. Yeah, even um, let me highlight. No is their engine as well. Like tonight, it was easy going for him. The Broncos couldn't stop him. He was making all his floaters, getting guys involved. He's making his threes. They're gonna put Rue on him, and Rue is a very underrated defender. Um, he could be up for defensive player of the year, I think. Uh, very, very solid player. If he can frustrate Noe into turnovers and poor shots, that will be the demise of the Avengers. So it's not just having Derek and Chris step up, but Noe has got to play smart. Uh, second game, Final Four, uh, Tropics versus your Fob Five. Mm -hmm. um, thoughts on that game? I think it comes down to Dustin. Where, wh whatever he decides, if we can clone two Dustins, let's let's assume we clone two Dustins. Uh, I think the five five, they work a little bit harder than the Tropics do. The Tropics are more athletic. They're, you know, they're stronger. They're better at rebounding. Uh, you know, Paul and Tyler are kind of their cogs. They got to have both of them step up and play defense and contest shots. The Tropics are on a two-game winning streak here in the playoffs that they've never had, like I mentioned earlier. I think they're hungry for it, but I think Fob Five's hungry for it as well. If I'm putting my money on it, I'm putting my money on Fob, just based on the fact that they've been there, done that. Dustin and Ferber have won multiple championships. They know what it takes to get to make it happen, especially when adversity strikes. Now, they almost gave up a lead to Showtime, but most teams would have folded after they noticed that a 15-point lead disintegrated to four points in a handful of minutes. 5-5 um, five, five pull it out, very close game. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be under 50s. Okay. So uh, Ninja Turtles, 5-5 um, five, five in the championship? Yeah, I think, I think that's what it'll end up being. That's what it'll end up being, and obviously we'll touch 
touch on it touch when when we get there because okay. you never know what's going to happen. Trop, I mean, I think both those games are, have the potential to be really good nail biters. Yeah, I think Lorenzen versus uh, Ferb will be a, a heck of a matchup. Yeah, I agree. I think you mentioned something about him last video about uh, Helmy and um, Tuan. Tuan yeah. and. Uh, you guys have an advantage because he can't shoot. I think he actually, I think actually they ended up with the advantage tonight. Yeah. Um, he was was taken to the hole and he yeah, did did I, make I the agree. big three. I agree. Um, any final thoughts? No. Uh, it's going to be a good season, a good end of the season. I think. I think. I said last season was probably the best season that we've had in terms of talent. This has been just as good in terms of, you know, there's been new blood that have, that's come into the league and. Both of them, I mean, the Broncos won their game. I called them to go to the Elite Eight, but they got blown out in this game. You know, Killer Bees made the playoffs, high seed, they got blown out. But it's nice to see fresh faces in there, teams that can compete with these better teams night in, night out. Sometimes the ball doesn't bounce their way, but it's been a good season overall. Yeah. Final thoughts? That was my final that? <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll see you next Wednesday at Bloomington South. Uh, for the final four, and then the two championship games will be here uh, next Thursday. See you guys then.